Well, there's no place like home for the holidays for Pulaski County High School. Good morning, everyone. It's Maroon Rundown. With me this morning are my friends, Miss Kenzie Cup and Seth Kissinger. Guys, thanks for joining us. And we're going to spotlight Mass Crew. So, guys, just tell me this morning first, how are you? And what exactly is Mass Crew and what do you do for our school? Um, I'm great with my Mass Crew, and that just simply stands for mentoring and student transitioning. And we just get to help the underclassmen, and particularly the freshmen, just have that like gap between middle school and high school and just help them transition into upper class. And then Seth can talk about our community service that we did. Yeah, like she said, Mass Crew has a lot of uh, working with community service. So some of the things we've done this year uh, are get money for charity, for Andrew Dodson's charity at a football game. We've went around and packed Thanksgiving meals at Somerset. Here we've tutored in Cup and cleaned the stairwells. And yeah, we just do different things across the community and help everybody out. Okay, awesome. Guys, tell me if I am an underclassman here at Pulaski County High School or a prospective student, what do I need to do if I want to get involved or be a part of the Mass Group? Okay, so it's super easy. So just keep an eye out in the spring semester. Um, Mr. Cook, Miss Cook, sorry, and um, Mr. Reed are the people that are ahead of Mass Crew. And you can basically just reach out to them and they'll be sending out applications. And you just simply fill out an application and drop it by the front office. And then sometime they will, after that, they'll let you know and you'll be in for an interview. But don't worry, it's a really easy interview and it goes really smoothly. We have great teachers that run it. And Seth can talk about it. Yeah, so like she said, there's an application and interview process. For the application, you have to, one, be a junior. You have to have a 3.0 GPA, no disciplinary referrals, no outstanding um, attendance gaps, and you have to have a teacher recommendation. Once you get all that filled out, uh, they will have an interview. And yeah, once you make it to the interview, it's not bad. You've basically made it through the hard part. So yeah. Well, guys, tell me, you all, whether you realize it or not, you and your colleagues in this cohort of Mass Crew are young leaders. So tell me uh, about the leadership opportunities that you've acquired through Mass Crew. I think one of the most beneficial things that I've done personally for me, um, we've got to every other week go in and teach a freshman class, just kind of like life school lessons. And that has been so beneficial both for me and I'm sure the students as well. And that's just been a great thing to see like the it through teacher's eyes and see how you can like help students, just like especially freshmen as they're trying to like, oh, you can see they're a little scared and you can just kind of help them open up and just feel welcome in the school. Yeah, so other than helping the freshmen, we, uh, Ms. Cook actually assigns us community service projects that we get to plan out and enact and that's just really cool being able to lead a community service project and see so many people willing to help you and willing to accomplish the same goal that you had in mind. Awesome. Well, guys, thanks for taking the time this morning. But before you go, just recently in our last holiday, Thanksgiving, you guys were a part of a big community service opportunity right here in our community. Do you care to tell our viewers about exactly what it was you did? Yeah. So we got to work with both our FCA and Somerset High School's FCA. And we went over to Somerset High School and got to package Thanksgiving meals just to give out to the community. We probably packaged like thousands of meals, I would say. And we just had a whole bunch of fun, just all just coming together and working towards one goal. Yeah, so like she said, we packed a lot of Thanksgiving meals and those went out to the needy in the community, which was just really awesome to see the impact that us students could have come the holiday season. I remember we went Wednesday night and me and Kenzie had to package like 600 or something rolls. So that was just really fun to get to hang out and package rolls. Well, that's awesome, guys. Thank you again for taking the time. It's Maroon Rundown. It's Mass Crew. It's Kenzie Cup. It's Seth Kissinger. That's what's up. Basketball season. Round ball has begun at Pulaski County High School. With me this morning, we are spotlighting point guard Madeline Butcher, shooting guard Hannah Murray. Ladies, thank you for joining us this morning. First off, let's just get right into it. Tell me. Uh, even though basketball season has just started, it's not started for you. It's been a long off season. Talk to me about the off season. How's that been going for each of you? Um, as individuals and as team, we've had a great off season. We put a lot of work in. We had a really successful summer. We went, I think it was twenty seven and one, and put a lot of work in as a team and as individuals to get to where we are this season. Um, yeah, I grew up. Madeline said we had a really good summer ball season and. We've been putting a lot of work in practice, so I think we should be ready for the rest of our games coming up. So. Definitely were. So in case you all were living under a rock, this week the Lady Maroons are 1-0. They went to Madison Central. And ladies, 
talk to us about the thriller in Richmond that happened this week. To give us a rundown of that. Um, I'll never forget us coming out of the huddle, and everybody was just nervous because we didn't really know what was happening. And we had a play set up, but it was just kind of shoot the shot that's open. And that was not the shot we expected to be open. But thank you to Sydney Martin, who luckily pulled out a miraculous shot. Um, to be honest, I thought we were going to lose, but <laughs> but Sydney pulled it off. So uh, we're really happy that we got a second chance to turn the game around. So, Well, that, that's exactly right. It's a quick turnaround. So it's a big weekend for you ladies. You are traveling uh, to Owensboro for an Owensboro tournament. You're going to be playing tonight. You're going to be playing tomorrow, coming back pretty late. So talk to me about what to look forward to uh, in the next two days here of competition there. Um, we play two really tough teams. We play Owensboro and Henderson County. And they're both going to be good matchups for us to push us to get us to the next level where we want to be come spring. Uh, yeah, I agree with Madeline said we. They're two really good teams, but I feel like if we work together, it'll be good for us. So, so I want to play this with you guys because what was the first thing when you thought when you saw Sydney Mark hit that shot this past Monday? I was just in shock. I didn't know what to think. Um, Coach A's reaction really got me. He did not know what to think either <laughs> after this shot. I was just like, oh, my gosh. I, I really didn't think it was going in, honestly, but it did. So I'm thankful that she made it. So. Well, I think it's destiny that you're here because everyone yeah. talks about what's called the sophomore slump. There ain't no slump in these sophomores. You got Brooklyn Thomas. You got Madeline Butcher. You got Hannah Murray. You ladies are rolling and laying it down. Thank you for taking the time to join us. Good luck the rest of the season. Doubleheader tonight. Lady Maroons basketball, that's what's up.